In this question, you are trying to find the side length that I called x. It's part of a right angle triangle. Whenever you have a right angle triangle, we know we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the triangle here. X, we know this is 15. In order to use Pythagorean theorem, we need to know at least two out of the three sides. So right now, I don't know this side, but it's part of the square. If we know the area of the square, how can you find the side length? We did this at the beginning of the chapter. Yes, square root. So you're gonna figure out what's the square root of 625. That means that 25, it's a square. All sides are the same. So the dimensions of the square are 25 by 25, which means that this side length is 25 meters. Now I have two out of the three side lengths. Okay, we have to label them A, B, and C. If we're using Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which value has to be labeled as C? The one the right, the one opposite the right angle, which is the hypotenuse, which in this case is X. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one I call A or B. Okay, so let's just call this A, we'll call this B. So I have, we'll plug it in now. 25 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. 625 plus 225 equals C squared. Good, what is that simplified to? 850 is equal to C squared. How do I find C? Good, okay, you guys are pros at this. So C is equal to 29.15. We'll round it to approximately 29 meters. So this is approximately 29 meters.